Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benu. You're watching Israeli News Live, and we have something that is breaking right now, already happened, uh, is tweeting this. Uh, and I sent him a message. He was kind enough to respond back to me. He said there is no news source on it. It's just photos here that have been taken of Abram tanks being loaded onto train cars there uh, in Germany. Now, he did say to me, perhaps they're going to a military drill. And that may be the case, but it says long columns of U.S. Army M1A2 Abram tanks in Germany. Uh, he also shows where this is actually at. It's close to the Czech border there, if you're, if you're familiar with the territory here. Uh, Grappen uh, I, I, so I'm guessing at German names, guys. I just German is not my cup of tea at all. Uh, but anyway, these tanks have been loaded onto these rail cars. Uh, this was, he just tweeted this out five hours ago. We're trying to find out where it's at. He said there is no news stories on this as of yet. It's concerning to me. Again, this morning we hear the, in the background there, my wife's listening to the Czech news kind of from, from one side there. And she's sitting here in the office and she says they're again talking about the EU super state army. Uh, what they're trying to bring about here in the EU. And this is why when they spoke about this on the news the other day, talking about, you know, preparing for a worst case scenario, it's for the military itself. Uh, we know the Germans are stocking up on food. They, they, they released that footage there. But the prepare for the worst here is the question comes out, as we stated in our last video about that, is are we going to be hit by a refugee type of scenario of attack? Is it going to be from Russia? What is the question? But this is what they're preparing for the worst for is putting together uh, or at least trying to justify having one super state military very much like what the United States has. Now, again, this kind of just makes you wonder about that, though, when they speak about preparing for the worst, because now we see that the U.S. has got Abram tanks, a long column of these, being loaded onto a rail car in uh, eastern Germany, uh, right there on the western border of the Czech Republic. I'm not far from the western border to begin with. I, I say not far, within about 45 minutes drive. Uh, but uh, that's very concerning, guys. Also, the same guy here, he... Uh, already happened. He had also posted uh, about warships, 25 Russian warships going out to sea, headed to, uh, I believe, the Caspian Sea. Well, that has hit the news. That is on Sputnik News. It's just come out here. Uh, and that is over two dozen Russian Black Sea Caspian ships sail out as part of a snap check. Uh, it is a military drill, but you know, one thing I always say is uh, Vladimir Putin doesn't play games. Uh, we learned this in the documentary uh, that they put together in Russia. He is in this documentary speaking about the, the issue of Crimea. It's called The Way Home, uh, something that's worth looking at there. But he speaks about the U.S. war games as they entered into the Black Sea. And Putin says it was not a war game. They were coming to take Crimea. So I, ever since I have seen him speak about this, I have watched very closely what people call war games. Because yes, I agree, some of these are just practice of scenarios, things like that. But in some cases, they could be one country or the other flexing their muscle to see who's going to flinch first. So anyway, over 15 combat ships of the Russian Black Sea Fleet and more than 10 vessels of the Caspian Flotilla have sailed out, uh, according to the Sputnik News here. Uh, and the, um, it says here in the Black Sea Fleet, in order to carry out tasks of the SNAP inspection as part of a naval battle group's anti-ship strike groups. Uh, mine sweeping groups and detachments of amphibious ships, over 15 warships came out to sea, the department said in, in a Friday statement. That's, like I said, breaking today. The statement added that more than 10 warships, boats, support vessels, as well as mine sweepers from the Caspian Flotilla also sailed out as part of the combat readiness check. Um, they're going to be doing this from August the 25th through the 31st here. Uh, a lot of things to kind of be watching for. So many drills going on. We know also North Korea threatening nuclear uh, retaliation of any type of uh, attack is, is launched on its country. And I'm sure that's one reason why the Obama administration just doesn't up and try to uh, take out this country with all of its nuclear power that it's gaining there because it is a threat, a threat to the United States, threat to uh, their neighbors around them. Uh, so... 
this very tense world, guys. Anyway, we'll be speaking to you again later this evening on our broadcast, uh, but wanted to get some of this information out to you right, right away, especially this Abram Tanks movement. Uh, one friend there on Twitter tweeted back to us and said, well, Steve, I think they're headed to Donetsk. Uh, I don't think they're really headed to Donetsk myself. Poland, perhaps, yes. Uh, Latvia, Lithuania, any of the countries there closer to Russia. But there again, as these tanks move towards that border there, the eastern part of Europe, you can be assured, uh, I'm sure Putin is already aware that they're going to be moving and that they are moving. And I'm, I can assure you of another thing there, it's only going to raise more tensions with our Russian neighbors. Uh, something that we don't need. In fact, Zaman, one thing I'd like to mention as well, Zaman, President Zaman, Milo Zaman, stated uh, yesterday that sanctions must be dropped on Russia. One thing I can say for the Czech people and the people in general here, let me just say this here. Zaman is our greatest asset when it comes to maintaining a balance for the Czech Republic in the middle of all this. The Czech people themselves love the United States. They were under communism. They do not appreciate the fact that living under communism and what that brought. Uh, I personally do not think that Putin has, is, is desiring to bring back the former Soviet Union. He seems like the former, the earlier Tsars rather than the communists, Lenin and uh, Stalin. But uh, one thing Zaman has been very good in bringing about a balance and that is maintaining a good relationship even with China and with Russia both uh, and in the event that we get into a major war. And when it comes to uh, uh, Prime Minister Sobotnik, uh, Sobotka, he as well keeps a good relationship with the United States, with NATO and, and, and their powers. So it's kind of like it's a good neutral place to be uh, because there's two sides of the government here and, and one side leans towards Russia, one leans towards the West. And uh, so maybe it'll make it a nice safe place to be if in the event that there is a war. Let's pray there's not. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom. Mm -hmm.